Michael Kwan here with Megatech News. We're here at Computex Taipei 2014. Uh, we're here at the Securify office, uh, and some of you might know them from the original Almond Rotor with this touchscreen interface. It's a very unique kind of product, but now they're getting ready to launch the follow-up, which is called the Almond Plus. Uh, you might know it from the Kickstarter campaign. They were able to raise over $850,000 from over 7,000 backers all around the world. And there's some great features in here, both from the home automation side of things and for ease of use for the router. So let's have a look at uh, what it has to offer. What you see here is the brand new Almond Plus. Some of you might have been uh, backing them on Kickstarter. I know it's been a long wait, uh, but they said that they're finally getting ready to push it out to you. So what I'm gonna do is go over some of the key features. Like the original Almond, it comes with the touchscreen display, which makes it really easy for you to go through all those kind of settings without having to run back and forth between your computers. Whenever there's a new firmware update or anything like that, you don't need to go back to your computer to, to dial into the IP address and go through the web UI. There is a straightforward software update uh, wizard, which is straight through the little touch screen itself, which kind of has the, the flat towel interface, which uh, is in line with what we're used to now with Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 and stuff like that. The flat tiles, it makes it really easy. Uh, you can see the status of your network, check for diagnostics to make sure everything is okay. You can also see the cloud affiliations for you to log into your Almond account so that you can manage all of the home automation stuff, which I'll get to in just a moment. Uh, one thing that we learned while here at uh, Computex Taipei is that the Almond Plus has gone through quite a few changes uh, since the Kickstarter campaign. They've upgraded a lot of the hardware. Uh, what you find is they went from a 2x2 configuration to a 3x3 for the network. They've upgraded the processor. Uh, they've added in more RAM and all this kind of stuff because they, they understand that running an AC network and doing all the home automation stuff, it requires a lot more horsepower than what you would find uh, with a more of a normal kind of router. So they went, went through the process of upgrading a lot of the parts so that it would be able to handle that. And going with the more compact design, they've also changed to a heat pipe cooling so that you, know, you don't have an active fan, it keeps the noise down, and there's fewer parts that can go wrong. One of the more exciting aspects of the Almond Plus is all the home automation stuff. So you might be familiar with the system from Belkin uh, that they call Wemo. It's the same kind of idea, but what uh, Securify has done here is it supports a broader range of products from a lot of different companies. So uh, they might be approaching their own kind of sensors and things in the future, but for now, uh, you can connect it with pretty much anything from the, the uses of the Zigbee or the Z-Wave standard. So there's a broad range of products, um, you know, anything from a basic power switch, uh, it supports light dimmers, you can use a thermostat, there's the uh, automated power locks, uh, door sensors and oh, flood sensors. So there's, there's all kinds of different kind of sensors and all home automation products that are out there that you can connect through this and it can all work through your choice of app as well. So what, what, what you can do is you can get the native app on your iOS products, so your iPhone, your iPad, iPod Touch. There's also the Android app, as well as a web-based UI. So you can connect and control all this stuff from your choice of device, as well as on the router itself. So you can do it through the touchscreen if you wanna turn on the light bulb and all that kind of stuff. It's all really easy to add a new sensor to the UI. So you, when you go through the touchscreen interface, there is a simple button that says add sensor. And depending on the product, the way that you connect it to the sensor, because they are using Zigbee and Z-Wave from different companies, there are different ways to connect it. But there is the UI here that makes it really easy for you to add to your network and then you can have control through, uh, through your laptop, through your tablet, through your smartphone, and everything is really easy. So uh, what we've been told here in Taipei is that they're finally ready to go into production. So the first production run of the Almond Plus will be kicking off the week after Computex, and then they'll be shipping them out in waves to all the people that uh, were so happy to support them on, on Kickstarter and, and back the project. Uh, the hardware itself is pretty much complete and is ready for uh, the production run. On the software side of things, uh, all of the basic stuff will be there at time of launch, and they'll be adding new features and more support for different kind of home automation products and uh, more features just in general uh, over the next several months so you, you can have more control over uh, all the different stuff that it can, uh, it can handle. In terms of pricing, 
It is gonna be a little bit more expensive because they had to invest in the touchscreen interface, they've upgraded the processor, added more RAM, so there are added costs that they had to put into there. So compared to the decidedly more basic Almond router, which is very popular on Amazon, that sells for $90, the Almond Plus will have an MSRP of about $250. That uh, gives you a good overview of what you can expect from the Almond Plus over the next little while. I'm Michael Kwan with Mega Tech News. Make sure you stay tuned to our YouTube channel and we have a lot more great coverage here from Computex Taipei 2014.